In this week's video, we test Apple's latest and greatest iPhone 14 Pro Max versus my tried and true Hero 10 GoPro camera. I've been creating YouTube videos with my Hero 10 camera for about eight months now, and I love it. It's so small and so lightweight. It creates beautiful videos, and I really love the stabilization because I basically just strap the GoPro to my chest and start hiking and create videos. A few days ago, I upgraded my iPhone to the iPhone 14 Pro Max. I decided to go with the Pro version primarily because of its upgraded camera capabilities. So a couple of days ago, we went hiking in Red Rock Canyon in Las Vegas, and I took both my new iPhone as well as my GoPro with me. During the hike, I was like, I think I'm gonna do a comparison test between both the iPhone and the GoPro. And so now we get to see what the results of those tests are. So the first test that I did was the stabilization test. And I basically had both the iPhone 14 Pro as well as the GoPro basically just strapped to my chest. And so why don't you look at the differences between the two? We got the uh, GoPro and then we got the iPhone. They're both can 4K 24 and they've both got the stabilization turned on. Yeah, so both phones are in stabilization mode. So the iPhone is at 4K24 in action mode. I think that's stabilization mode. And then the, um, the GoPro is at 4K24 and the um, stabilization is set to high. Not super high, just high. So it'll be interesting to see what this looks like between the two. Um, they're both like basically just on my chest. Um, I'm holding the um, iPhone right up against the GoPro, so it's doing the exact same thing. So my second test was similar, but I introduced some low light situations. And I think once again, the iPhone 14 really was outstanding. So the stabilization is really great on the phone. and. The 14 Pro with its larger sensor capabilities, it really does a great job in helping the camera perform in low light situations. So what do you think? So this is kind of a low light test. I did notice that the iPhone can only do 2.8K24 in action mode, whereas the, um, of course the GoPro, you can do 4K24. But here's a low light test and we're doing the action mode, so we're walking to see how it handles that, as well as a low light situation. And yeah, we're kind of bouncing around quite a bit here, so it'll be interesting to see how it handles this and handles the low light. I know the GoPro doesn't handle um, the low light very well, so we'll see how it turns out. So my last test wasn't a stabilization test. It was basically just a low light panning kind of a test. So check that out. Okay, so we're doing um, 4K at 24 frames per second. And I can see how the GoPro, I don't think is handling the shade as quite as well. Whereas the iPhone is making adjustments really quickly on the fly. Say hi, Nicole. Hello. <laughs> okay. So I did see some of the videos on the iPhone 14 Pro Max, and that's one of the reasons I was gonna get it, was it seemed like it performed really well, but I wanted to test it myself, and I gotta say, it was pretty outstanding. So the stabilization, I kind of feel like it performed as advertised, the low light situations, it performed really well in the low light situations and the color reproduction I thought was also really good. I thought the color was much better on the iPhone than my GoPro. So I guess the big question is, will the iPhone replace my GoPro when I go hiking? Probably not. 
The GoPro is just so much lighter and smaller. The iPhone, it's, it's a little bit bigger and bulkier and certainly a lot heavier. So I'll probably still continue to use the GoPro when hiking, but I will still have the iPhone with me. So I'll always have my phone with me, especially because of how well it performs with the AllTrails app. And in situations where I have low light or in situations where I'm stopped and just kind of taking video or pictures, I very well might pull that iPhone out as well and use both my GoPro and iPhone and just choose the best footage for the situation when I'm creating my and putting together my videos. I'll probably always use the iPhone in very low light situations, especially at night, like if we're at dinner and doing some video or something like that. And I've got this YouTube studio with this kind of lighting setup and I'm experimenting with the different lighting and I will likely probably start using the iPhone in this particular location as, a, as opposed to my GoPro. I'll have to test both of them and see which one works a little bit better, but I'll probably start using my iPhone in my studio as well. As always, if you got value from this video, please like it and consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you again in the next one very soon.